Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my guide to the noise gate in BandLab. On the track screen, tap on the FX icon. Tap on the plus icon on the none FX icon. Then tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the Dynamics tab. And tap on the noise gate from the FX list. To the right of the words noise gate is the bypass switch. Tapping on the switch will turn the noise gate off. And tapping on the switch again will turn the noise gate back on. This can be useful for checking how the noise gate is affecting your track. Below the words noise gate is the attack slider, the release slider and the threshold slider. Here is a graphic diagram of a soundtrack. The threshold sets the sound volume level the noise gate is turned on at. So the noise gate is turned on when the volume level is below the threshold. Attack sets how quickly the noise gate is turned off and how quickly the sound fades back in. Release sets how quickly the noise gate is turned off and how quickly the noise fades out. Below the words noise gate is the attack slider. Attack sets how quickly the noise gate switches off and so how quickly any sound above the threshold fades in. Dragging the attack slider to the left makes any sound above the threshold fade in quicker. Dragging the attack slider to the right makes any sound above the threshold take longer to fade in. Below the attack slider is the release slider. Release sets how quickly the noise gate switches on and so how quickly any sound above the threshold fades out. Dragging the release slider to the left makes any sound above the threshold fade out quicker. Dragging the release slider to the right makes any sound above the threshold take longer to fade out. Below the release slider is the threshold slider. Threshold sets how quiet the sound volume on the track has to be before the noise gate is switched on. Dragging the threshold slider to the left sets the noise gate threshold lower. So it reduces the amount of sounds the noise gate removes from the track. Dragging the threshold slider to the right sets the noise gate threshold higher. So increases the amount of sounds that the noise gate removes from the track. Here is a sample sound without the noise gate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here is the same sound with the noise gate switched on and the threshold set to minus 30 dB. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here is the same sound, but with the release time set to maximum. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here is the same sound with the attack set to maximum. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here is the same sound with a long reverb and no noise gate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here is the same sound with a long reverb and the noise gate switched on and the threshold set to minus 30 dB. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's the same sound with a long reverb 
the noise gate switched on, the threshold set to minus 30 dB, and maximum release. Six, seven, eight, nine. Here is the same sound with a long reverb, the noise gate switched on, and the threshold set to minus 40 dB. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.